Uh, welcome, my dear students. Welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back, everyone. And this video is about the email marketing and the importance of the email marketing and how far it's important to do an email marketing uh, when you are doing digital uh, marketing work. And actually here, we will start to talk about following the email. Uh, let me, yeah. Following email marketing best practices, the most important points here in the chapter, we will handle about the digital marketing. So about the email market. So the email marketing should be used for, those are the reason for using the digital or the email marketing. For attention, a question, branding, traffic, engagement, direct sales, referral, reactivation. So those are the reasons why we use email marketing. So here is the first question today. What are the reasons for the email marketing? Control and V. What are, are the reasons let us say the reasons of email marketing. This is our question today regarding this point. So again, the question, the branding, the traffic, the engagement, the direct sales, the referral, the reactivation, and the retention. And we'll know each one of them now. Anyhow, the goal of email is to assist and exp expedite a customer's movement from the stage, one stage to the other. Like we said before this figure, we talk about it before, aware, then engage, then subscribe, then convert, then excite, then ascend. When you start talking about the product, then advocate, then you promote by viral uh, advertising, which is using mouth advertising. Uh, the, journey, the journey from awareness conversion to promotion is the customer journey, which we talked about before. And we said, what are now the types of email marketing? And this is the second question. What are the types of email marketing? And this is our second question today. What are the types of email marketing? Or the type, yeah, that you will use, it's the types of email marketing which you'll use in email. We have transactional to provide customer service, like you see here. We have relational to engage with the client or to engage the subscriber. Promotional to generate sales. So we have three types of email advertising. Transactional, relational, and promotional. Transactional, relational to engage subscribers, and promotional for generating sales. These are the three. So it's all about this matrix now. It's all about this matrix. So if you want just to have a transactional, the transactional will do the customer service, brand awareness, lead generation, retention, loyalty, keep your clients with you. They don't go to another client engagement and nurturing and sales upsells and upsells so these if you will do transac transactional relational when you all of them accept the customer service when there is no customer service then use the relational so the relational is less than the transactional transactional is having more tasks the only task is have the transactional is having and is not in the relational is that the customer service. So we find the customer service in the transactional. Promotional, if you will miss two things, you can do that and do the rest. So if you don't need, have a customer service and brand awareness, because already in the promotional, the clients have awareness about your brand, about your product. They don't need you to remind them about because simply they know your product. So in that case, in the promotional, you will have only the tasks or the goals of lead generation, uh, retention, loyalty, engagement, uh, nurturing, and sales and upsells. The transactional emails, 
These are the emails that get sent out on your automated systems confirming action taken by your prospect and customers. While most transactional emails are templates provided by the marketing system, we use the average revenue per transactional email is 2x to 5x higher than standard bulk mail. Here are eight types of transactional emails. So we have also a types of the transactional emails. And this is also our third question today. What are the types? We'll see here, control and V, eight types of transactional email. What are the eight types of the transactional email? Here we go. And this is our third question today. The first one is order confirmation. In the order confirmation emails, order emails have a higher of open rate than any other type. That makes sense if you think about it. The recipient has just given you money and wants to verify the details of their purchase. So you send them a confirmation exactly, like when you book it uh, book a ticket on uh, any of your own journeys or whatever if you are going for um, a journey or for uh, holidays and you are booking, uh, booking uh, through like Expedia once you're done they will send you on the email a confirmation uh, Purchase receipt, this is the two, second type of email, advertise, digital email, advertising. Receipt email like confirmation email have a high open rate, but they are rarely leveraged to growth. Here, like you see here, uh, in this example, the template which is here, provides a space for contact us. So if any issue, you contact us message why not make an offer as well third type of uh, these types of marketing which we talk about which are talking still about the eight types of the transactional emails the eight types of transactional email the third type is shipping notice another email that excites is the shipping notes the shipping notes tell you thank you for your order pay uh, blah blah blah. We wanted to let you know that the order was shipped via OTS or whatever. Uh, so I'm just confirming that I did ship to you your products or your goods which you ask. Track your shipment. Here it is the item, and here is the number of the item. Thank you for your business with us, and so on. This is the third kind. The fourth kind is accounting or account creation. These emails goes when you create an account. So if you did any create an account, uh, it goes to you that you created a new account and it's including, of course, the login info. And we all know this because we, every one of us uh, is practicing that when you try to create account in any site, the first thing that you receive an email uh of confirmation of that you book or you open an account return confirmation if you sell physical products or some whatever merchants so this is a fantastic time to make them an offer to give them a coupon so this is as example like coupon for example you might double the refund amount on another purchase so as example if you buy this you will take this as well this is an example of the uh, return confirmation here. Thank you for connecting with me today and providing me some details about your concern. I am sorry that we let you down and I thank you for being a long time customer. If you are willing to give us another chance, here is what I can do. So here I'm trying to create uh, another chance for the client. Support tickets. This is another one, or uh, number six. As with return confirmation email, support tickets follow up emails 
give you an opportunity to add tons of values. Uh, if some received create uh, support, you can easily ask them to share the experience. Password reminder, this will also will remind you with your password. Unsubscribe confirmation, this email is a standard automated email. Usually, if you want to unsubscribe, please press here. This was about the first type of uh, the transactions, from transactions. We talk about eight types and shall see you in the next video. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Have a very wonderful day. Thank you. Welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, my dears. Uh, a new lecture, a new work in Zoom now. And uh, what we'll talk about is the email, the types of email, types of email which you will use as a strategy when you work in your company. And we will go right now directly into the uh, uh, to the presentation book, our presentation book. And here we go. Uh, we have this is. Uh, the digital marketing, here we go. And the book, the presentation book will be here, digital. And this is our presentation book. I will move forward into page 147. Directly will go to page 147. Might take a little bit of time. Here we go. And I will open the screen to enlarge it. Open the screen also from the other side. And here we go. We will go to page 174. 174. Here we go. Okay. We're talking about the email marketing. We were talking about the email marketing. And the last thing we stopped in page 174. 174. That was the end where we stopped yesterday. Uh, PDF takes some uh, time for uploading. Sometimes it's okay. This is 174, and this is the digital marketing. We call the digital marketing. Uh, we talk about the first slide of the uh, digital marketing. Uh, and now we will move into the, uh, the second part, 147. We are 147. One four seven. Okay. Okay. One four seven. Here we had. We talk about the first. Let me remind you quickly about what we talked before. We talk about the first e types of email. We said, if you want to send a transactional email, that will be like the types are customer service, brand awareness, lead generation, retention, engagement, and sales upsells. The relational uh, email marketing will be all except the customer service. Promotional include the promotional will not be including the customer service or the brand awareness, but it will be including the other types. And we said the types of transactional emails before in the previous lecture was order confirmation, uh, purchase receipt, shipping notice, account creation, return confirmation, support tickets, unsubscribe confirmation. Those are all types of the first type. The second type of the email, which we are here in today to talk about is the relational email, relational email. Companies that use email to nurture, leads generates 50% more sales ready Let's add 33% lower cost. So I will increase my sales 30, 50% and with a lower cost 33%. Here, eight types 
of relational relational emails they can use we use to what we use it where why to get these results for your own business means to increase the sales whether it's digital or back and mortar new subscriber welcome so this is the first type of the second type relational emails new subscribers welcome so this is a message to welcome you thank you for subscribing as example then dear direct response this is a letter and you will say you will give him here a welcome email so this is welcome email particularly when you subscribe the second type is gated content delivery gated content is valuable information that isn't freely available online you cannot get it online for free to access the information you must pay with either your email address or social share typically lead magnets and opts in offers are free in exchange for the visitor's email address these automated delivers the contents that was requested successfully concluding the transaction a figure for it like the third kind is blog articles newsletter or blog articles Whenever you create contents, you should use email to distribute it to your subscribers. This email can be short and simple, introducing your topic and providing a link to access. Like this as example, hey there, what's your experience in blah, 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 blah. Can you get food traffic from this? So let's do this, Tim Solo, and here is his own uh, email and his site. So use email to distribute new blog articles to your subscribers. You can use it to distribute new blog. New blog. The type four is the web webinar events or confirmation. This type of email is both relational and transactional the one of the webinar or event confirmation. Let us go to a type of it like this exactly. This is a type which show us, this is thank you for registering for what's working now, monetizing webinar. And here are the details about the webinar and to join, how to join the webinar, add to calendar, the time and including everything. A relational web, webinar, uh, webinar, a confirmation email. This is another kind, a relational webinar confirmation email. Survey or review. This is also another type of the second type of the emails. Like you do survey or whatever, it can also help you segment them. Like surveys which come to you or cochineers which come to you on your email. Social updates updates your followers on change in your company or your product. So if you have anything else newly to say to your customers, here is the special update. Contest announcement, this is another type. Uh, contest build excitement and attract new subscribers. It will attract new subscribers. Your current email subscribers should be the first to hear about this. Refer referral requests. After any positive interaction with your subscribers, it makes sense to ask for a referral. Uh, this is the second thing, new purchase, resolutions for problems. Okay. The thing I want you to know that relational emails, regardless of what they are being sent, should be human rather than scripted. And they should always provide value. They should also show human and value. Those are the two words which we want. Remember to spell out the next steps and encourage people to take those steps right away. So you will tell them based on this kind of types, you have, uh, you can request what they will go after this, what, where they will go further. This was the second type of email and we will go now sooner to the third type shall stay safe everyone 
we'll see you in the next video about the third type of emails, uh, which is a pro promotional email. Thank you. Welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back, everyone. This is the third type. Today, we will talk about the promotional email, the third type of the email marketing. That is, we call it promotional email. So 66% of the consumers have made a purchase online. Now, so it's very important that the purchase is online. 66% of consumers in a survey, they said they purchase online. This show you the importance of purchasing online. Uh, Talk about the eight types of promotional emails here. The first one is the promotional contents. So this kind is like here, convince your boss to send you to TSC like this one, three tips to speak to your boss language. And this is one of the promotional contents is valuable while generating sales. Second one, new gated content. Uh, gated content aims to attract new subscribers. It's to attract, but existing subscribers are likely to want it as well. So this is a checklist could increase your email delivery up to 20%. This is a figure of the gated content. The third one is sales announcement. And this is very important. Sales announcement gets more engagement than any other type of email. Clearly, if you want to make a bunch of sales, have a sales, this you can use it. Here we go, like this one. Are you frustrated by the lack of shares, comments of traffic, and so on? And this is show you more download these blogs templates. This is sales announcement, get a lot of engagement provided by the subject line is good. The fourth kind is new product release, new product release. When you are informing the people about a new product, then you will use the email, promotional emails to tell the people. It must be accompanied with series of announcements that will help as well as example, digital marketers, is launching its second flagship industry event. And so you show them here, reserve your spot now. This is a type of, uh, that you will show your uh, new announcement to the people. Webinar announcement also, event announcement. So we have webinar and event announcement as well. We have trial offers also. We have upgrade offers. This is another type. So those were the types of emails and when we will send them. Uh, the five phases of email marketing is also important. The first, the in uh, doctrination campaign, that is a trick campaign sent immediately after someone subscribes to introduce themselves to your brand and set expectation. So you have to welcome, uh, welcome new subscribers, tell them about what you want and what you expect, tell them what they need to do, and tell them that you, you have to meet, them, to meet their expectations, what they are expecting from you. Storyboard it. Start by welcoming new subscribers. Restate in three or four points the benefits they will get when they subscribe. You will tell them in points. Tell them what to expect. So this is the storyboard. Storyboard it. Storyboard means that you will do these steps. Start by welcoming new subscribers. Restate in three or four points the benefits. Tell them what they expect. The fourth step. Encourage whistling by saying something along these lines. As example, whitelist this email address, 
create a folder where you can save all our messages. Do not auto archive any of them. Step five, put your best foot forward. Send them a best of campaign listing. Like your highest shared contents, your highest comments, feedback, or of which come to you from the, uh, uh, the Facebook posts, a piece of content that had gotten rave reviews. Also, we have uh, for each campaign a type when to use it, like you saw before here, for the five stages of the campaign. Shall see you by the next video. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Have a good day. Bye bye.